welcome the number of distinct prime factors of the largest six digit number is 5634 we are going to find out the prime factors of the largest six digit number then we will be finding the distinct prime factors see the question largest six digit number largest six digit number 9 99999 the largest six digit number is 9999999 the prime factors of this number we are going to find out the smallest prime number is 2 then 3 the next number is 5 the next prime number is 7 11 13 so will be there are 25 prime numbers are there up to 100 So we are going to find out the prime factors of this number. We cannot use two table here. So this number is not divisible by two. The next prime number is three. So the sum of the digits, sum of these digits is fifty-four. One, two, three, four, five, six numbers. So six times fifty-four, fifty-four will come in three table. So this number is divisible by three. We can use the three table. Three, 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 three. So. Again, this number is divisible by three because the sum of these digits is eighteen. You can use the three table one, 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 one. After that, sum of these digits is six. One plus one plus one plus. Adding will be getting six. So you can use the three table again. Now only smaller than three. Take this two number. Eleven. Three three is a nine. Balance is two. Seven three is a twenty one. This only smaller than three, so add zero. Take this two number. Three three is a nine. Again, balance is two. Solve three is a twenty one. Now, sum of these digits is three plus seven ten plus zero ten plus three thirteen plus seven twenty. So twenty is not the sum of sum of the digits not in the of of form three table. That is, sum of the digits must be three six nine two one fifteen. We can use the three table. That is the divisibility rule for number three. So we cannot use three table. Next number five. So the divisibility rule for number five. The unit place either of the form five or zero. So we cannot use five table also. That means this number that is seven thousand. That is always not divisible by three and five. Next number is seven. <coughs> We are going to check whether this number is divisible by seven or not. Divisibility rule for Number seven. So we are going to find the divisibility rule. Check. We are going to check whether this thirty-seven thousand is thirty-seven is divisible by seven or not. So what is the divisibility rule of seven? Is twice this last digit and subtract from the rest of the number. See here, here five-digit number. Instead of checking this five-digit number divisible by seven or not, we can. Reduce this five-digit number into four-digit, three-digit, two-digit. Then it is easy to check whether this number is divisible by seven or not. Twice this last digit, fourteen, subtract from the rest of the number, three seven zero three. So three seven zero three. So three minus four it won't go. Borrow from this, it will become six. It will become nine. It will become thirteen minus nine. Four is nine. Nine minus one is eight, so six three. So again, twice this last digit eighteen. Subtract from the rest of the number, so three six sixty eight. Three sixty eight. Eight minus eight zero. Six minus one five. This three. So three fifty divisible by seven table. Three sixty three fifty divisible by seven. Or you can do like this. See, subtract this number first. Twice this last digit two into zero zero subtract from the rest of the number thirty five minus zero will be getting thirty five thirty five divisible by seven that means this whole number thirty seven thousand thirty seven is divisible by seven four seven sir that twenty eight five seven sir thirty five balance is two four seven sir twenty eight three we cannot do so what we can do is two seven sir fourteen balance is six nine seven sir sixty three. Then one seven is seven. After this, what we can do is we are going to check this five thousand two hundred ninety one again will come in seven table or not? If this five thousand two hundred ninety one will not come in seven table, we can go and check for this eleven table. So five thousand two hundred ninety 
So no need to check this 5291 will divisible by 3 or not because already this number 37000 that is always not divisible by 3. So directly we can go for 7 table. Twice this last digit 2 into 1 2 subtract from this list of number 529 9 minus 2 7 this 2 5 twice this last digit 7 to 7 14 subtract from the list of the number 52 it will become 2 minus 5 2 go so 8 will become 4 38 this is not divisible by 7 so this number 5291 is not divisible by 7 so we can go to next prime number that is 11 so the divisibility Rule for number 7 is like the divisibility rule for number 7, the same we can follow in this number 11 or for 11. Subtract the last digit from the rest of the number. That is the divisibility rule for number 11. Subtract the last digit from the rest of the number 529, 9 minus 1, 8, 2, 5. So subtract the last digit 8 from the rest of the number 52 minus 8 is 44. So 44 will come in 11 table. That is 44 is divisible by 11. So you can use 11 table here. 4 11 is 44. Balance is 8 here. 8 11 is 88. Balance 1 is here. So 1 11 is 11. Now 481 is divisible by 11 or not. Subtract this 1 from this 48. We will be getting 47. This is divisibility rule for number 11. Take this number, last number, subtract the last number from the rest of the number, so 1, then 48, 48 minus 1 is 47, this is not divisible by 11, so we can go to next prime number, the next prime number is 13, so we have already checked whether this number is divisible by 13 or not, 4 times the last number, add with the rest of the number, this is the divisibility rule for number 13, 4 times the last number, 4 into 1, 4, Add with the rest of the number 48 plus 4 will be getting 52. Then 4 times this last number 4 2 sorry 8. Add with the rest of the number 5 plus 8 13. So 13 is divisible by 13. 13 is a primary number so we used here 13. So what we can do 3 times 13 39. So 48 minus 39. 8 minus 9 don't go. So borrow from this it will become 3. 8 minus 9 is 9, so it become 91. So 7 times 13 is 91. So 37 times 13 is 491, 81. So 13 times 37 is 481. Now 37 is a prime number. So 1 times 37, 37. So the question is the number of distinct prime factors of the largest 6 digit number. This is 1 and 2. 3, 4, 5. So the answer for this question is 5. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.